And with that I say hello everyone and welcome back to Ogre Battle The March of the Black Queen. As we are going to go, oh we just finished up with the, the Shrine of Kulin where we fought against um, someone. I don't remember their name, don't even remember how they look like. But that's because uh, this is now a day later and this is a post commentary. Because uh, I lost my commentary, as I said last uh, time. We're going to go to the city of Xanadu today, but... It's gonna be... Okay. The end nears. It does indeed near. Because this is like... Uh, the third last episode of this series. It's kinda nice. Oh wait, is it the third one? Yeah, it is the third last episode. It is also the second last... Uh, that I have to record the audio for, <laughs> so that's nice. But we did our usual stick of getting Lori out, giving Lori all the units that she needs, and just let Lori go in, guns blazing, and demolish everything in the pathway. Which, you know what? That's a game style I will say is the best in this game. <laughs> Uh, the Wyvern in front, Zaradin and on... No, wait, that's Warren. Warren on top and Zaradin on the bottom. Even though normally it's Warren on top. There was something that happened in this... Uh, in this mission. I wanted to see if I can get like a, a dragon or something like that. Roaming around this place. Uh, little did I know, they are no dragons here. Like, literally. Let me check what enemies are here though, because uh, I might be doing that for a while, but it did not work to my favors. What are here are ice giants, cockatrices and uh, platinum dragons. Platinum dragons in the snow. Ice giants normally in the, the mountains, but I was unlucky and I used my chime and I got a raven man. Did not uh, go the way I wanted it to. But as you can see, there is someone that we kind of skip there. Letting that unit go straight to our lord. At first I wasn't thinking straight about this. Then I noticed. Oh wait. Is she or they, rather? They could be a bit of a problem, I think. Because one, our lord is uh, has only one attack. It is not that strong of an attack. Uh, it is a strong attack, but it's only one. And uh, one attack is not going to burst down all their fields, so... I'm going to have a little bit of an issue here. So what I did was... I uh, went ahead... Oh, wait, now that I think about it, this is not the mission I used the chime for. No, it's the next episode. The next episode, I think? We just defeated some uh, samurai warriors, but here we can see I saw the the muse coming and I was like, uh oh, that's bad. Um, Lord, get out of the way. We're summoning Barif, but Barif alone, I think, would have also some issues. So I did something to the units that he has, and that was the Eagle Man. Since Barov is not going to be moving, the Eagle Man is completely useless. Because otherwise, it's just there to carry my other units into the, the front of the, the battle. And I thought, okay, which was my Muse that I had before in here? And it was Lips. Lips, the good old Muse that had uh, kind of a lot of damage. So we are putting her back into the our uh, now second strongest unit. I would even say they are stronger than the the main units. Well, not even main units, what are they called? Like Yushi's over here, Tristan, Aisha, Lance, and uh, what was the last one again? Ash, there you go. It's a bit stronger than they are. Not only are they high level, they also have uh, three paladins. No, two paladins and two muses and a shaman. Sadly not a, uh, a monk yet. But I think like one or two battles afterwards they would have absolutely become a, m a monk. But 
let's see how the big battle will go. Because it is not as... Not as uh, easy as... The Lich's fights. I also used the chariot because we got one, so I thought why not. To do a lot of damage with thunder, but we have the superior attack count, so everyone got a level, very nice, and uh, we won. And now uh, the only thing left is uh, literally Lori and the, the massacre, which I'm not gonna show. So I wanted to show you guys the the massacre, but it's literally just like. Oh, the enemy is there! Fire! 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 Dead! Which is not as interesting to see. And I saw it quite enough in my thingy. Oh! Uh, hmm, it seems that the gods have chosen you over the Empire. But even so, I cannot allow you to process further. For the honor and pride of the Highlands, come and taste the taste of my sword. I was gonna say spear, but pretty sure he has a sword. And uh, I had a second chariot, so I thought, you know what, let's just use it. I do have other tarot cards for later on. The boss didn't take that much damage, so I was a little bit surprised. And uh, the damage that it does as well, it's like... Not as much as I thought. I thought it did a little bit more. Yeah, and there we saw that. <laughs> I was a little bit worried when I saw the chariot damage, and then I saw the phantom damage, I was like, Oh! Never mind. Pikachu is dead. Which went kinda... kinda well, right? We also liberated Xanadu then, and... That was it. Not that much going on in here, but you know what? It's still kinda nice, and also my oversight of one of the units almost costed me the, the match, really. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Because I'm just going to go ahead and put uh, Lori's units back on Klonk, so that we have them free. So then everyone, mm, bye!